Hi, this is Mark from Microblog and when I browsed through the web I saw that Engadget posted another back to school guide for 2014 and I thought I should add something to this because um, when you look at that guide they either say you get a laptop or get a tablet for back to school and uh, for the tablet they show you the Surface 3 which basically is a laptop if you're honest uh, but it has some cool features that um, other notebooks don't have and one of the coolest features actually is the inking and inking means you really can uh, use your surface and pen and write on it like you would on paper so i always say it's paper 2.0 i hope you can read that if you can read it i'll show you to you later and when you're going back to school and get yourself a surface for example you also should start using OneNote and in this video I want to show you how to organize yourself in OneNote for university. I'll show you some practical tips how I do it and maybe you adapt or don't or you find your own way. Um, there is no one way in OneNote which is great and so let's get started. As you can see here on the left side these are my different notebooks. I have one for university. I have one for my MBA studies I did back and on the top you find the different sections and I would recommend that you have one section for every class you take like this was finance, managing information system, marketing, strategy, I think you get it. Um, but you always should, should start with a general section where you put some organizational stuff around your uh, studies in first for example like the uh, class schedule you have and yeah, so when you have your classes, for example, strategy, I always recommend to print the presentation you get from your professor as a PDF on um, a single page in OneNote, um, like you can see here. Basically, a page is an endless page in OneNote where you can put your stuff. And what you can see here basically is um, how I write or how I wrote on the presentation of the professor in a digital way. You know, you can use the pen and um, add some things here or delete them. It's very cool um, when you use it on a tablet PC because it really makes fun. Uh, if you do some error, it's just one click and your error is away. And you should do it or you could do it like that instead of printing it, for example, because uh, printed paper really sucks, uh, quite frankly. Um, another cool thing most people don't know when you do this, like I'm doing it, that um, OneNote in the background analyzes your handwriting and makes an indexation. So that means your handwriting is searchable. So for example, when I look for strategy on this uh, paper, what we can see here, 16 uh, search results. And this also means, and that's another cool feature about OneNote most people don't know, when you print a presentation to OneNote, uh, the text in this presentation or even in pictures is searchable because there is an OCR integrated into OneNote and you can browse through it and um, show the different strategies it found and this is really cool. Then another tip from me is um, organize it on a chronicle base. So this means this was lecture number one. When I go a little bit down here with my mouse, I find lecture, lecture number two, three, etc. And then again, another feature most of the people don't know is that in OneNote you can organize your pages again to make it a, to have a better overview, for example. So I can expand and collapse the view here. So the MBA I did were basically three weeks, uh, three block weeks uh, in strategy, which means this one is block number one overview, block number two overview, and block number three overview. So in block number one we find lecture number one, and then on another sub page we can find I did for this lectures. So um, to make a page, a sub page, is quite easy. You just drag and drop it and you can pull it to the left to make it a main page and then again you can pull it to the right uh, to make it a sub page. So um, another cool tip I want to give you and I think that's the last tip for this short video is um, when you work or when you have a group work you probably should generate a notebook just for that group work like I did here in this case for example where I put um, all the stuff we worked together on as a team in one notebook and the cool thing about this is that you can share a notebook with other people working with you together so this means nobody can uh, 
say, oh, I didn't get the material because it's all saved in the cloud. I use OneDrive for it because it really works best with OneNote together because it's from the same manufacturer, I think. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want to do it like this, all you have to do is uh, save the notebook in the cloud. And when you did that, you can go to the uh, backstage view and say um, share with others. You can invite others with by email. Um, as you can see here, these are the other people who worked together with me on that notebook. And um, that's a cool feature. Yeah, so I hope you have a great back to school start. Um, I'm trying to do a little bit more OneNote videos in English later. Um, so if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put it down in the comments and ask it. And if you want to see something special, um, just write a comment and I'll come back to that. Thank you. Bye bye.